Really? Did he feel like he could deceive us with that? Drandragor must think that we are foolish to not question Kelvin communicating with us like that. Another adventuring party may have been more trusting. I'm glad that we didn't fall for it. I don't want to think about just standing there and letting monsters kill me in the vain hope that we'll be brought back to life. It would have been horrifying indeed. So, are we ready to move forward and deal with the monsters that will lie ahead? I am always ready, Rune. Wait, the West Wall appears to be an illusion. How did you notice that? I guess some of your ability to see illusionary walls is rubbing off on me. Is it an illusionary wall, though? It is an illusionary wall. Well spotted. Thank you. And is that one of those shields? It is one of those shields. I believe that's one for each of us now. That's very foreboding. Yes, it is. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Eye of the Beholder 2, The Legend of Dark Moon. And when last we left off, we have the fabled Amulet of Resurrection, which was likely purchased by Dran at a market somewhere. It's not going to do anything except get us killed. We need to make a little bit of room here because we found some pretty nice things. We'll drop this for now. We will be picking it up later. Here is a piece of parchment. What does it say? Hmm. Looks like a bit of a map. That skull and crossbones there is foreboding. We should probably heed that thing's warning. And here is Jonah's cloak. Does Jonah's cloak do anything? That is a good question. Somebody else, I believe, is uh, equipped with a cloak. Is that a piece of armor? It's probably just a piece of armor. Is it better than what you're currently wearing? Armor class of five, armor class of four. It is actually slightly better. Is it better than what you're wearing, though? Armor class of five, armor class of four. No, it's not. So we're just going to have you wear this, and we'll drop the plus one robe. And we've got to hold on to this and that. What do we want to get rid of? There are lots of things that we could get rid of. We'll keep that. Potion of healing I'd like to hold on to. There are probably lots of scrolls that we do not really need. Remove paralysis, raise dead, remove paralysis, neutralize poison. We have a neutralized poison scroll that we do not need. And we probably want to get rid of one more. And this is when getting rid of that neutralized poison scroll gets us all horribly killed. Plus two dagger. We can get rid of... Actually, let's just get rid of all of these rations. We do have some, but we don't need that many. And so, let us get ready for dealing with this encounter. Imagine if you hadn't constantly gone back and forward beyond here. You might not have found that. It wasn't a guaranteed, hey, you discover this, because we had to go past that at least twice. So I'm going to save, and then we're going to deal with the monsters that will inevitably be in the next room. And then we will defeat Dran's ruse. To be fair, it's not much of a ruse. Haste is ready. Bless is ready. Soon prayer will be ready. And then protection from evil ten feet will be ready. And then we will go forward. And we could backtrack to where the, um... That trap is, but I get the feeling this is going to be a trap in itself. The door opens. The door's going to close behind us, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it is. Of course it's going to. And we can't open this door here. Not without pressing that switch, I imagine. Well, let's do it. Are we ready? As ready as we'll ever be. All right, Valendra. Yep, there are enemies here. Let's deal with them as quickly as we can, and let's not let ourselves be killed. How many are there? At least three. So I'm going to uh, defeat these here, and we'll move forward. One more, and then a fourth one appears out of nowhere. Fighting three of these in uh, the room that we were just in would have been difficult. Amber has gained a level up, and I imagine that level up is for... Mage. Let's have a look. Yes, actually, it is. There we go. One hold monster. I'd be very surprised, actually, if she gained a, uh, a thief level that quickly. So we'll have uh, one hold monster there. You do indeed need to rest to regain spells. And this is a tooth and a sling. Let me have a look at that. Rune, is it magical? Is that a magical sling? Let me find out. I hope it is. 
It is a magical sling. Is it cursed? Let's find out. No, it's actually slightly better than what you have. Excellent! I finally found a replacement for the sling. It's not horribly cursed. You do remember the horribly cursed sling, don't you? Oh, I do. You don't shut up about it when we rest. We need to use this clearly here. You fools! Do you dare think you can defeat me with your paltry magic and incompetent fighting skills? I will be a god, and you will be crushed beneath my boots. Oh, little ones, you have only begun to feel my wrath. You should have taken my offer of a merciful death when I offered it to you. Now it is too late for you. You think that us being ripped apart by monsters is mercy? We will see the end of you, Drandragor. Oh, my little escaped prisoner. The only end that will happen is your own. Uh, one question before you go. Mm. You're not a vampire, are you? A vampire? Sharp pointy teeth. J just a theory. Oh, you'll find out soon enough. If you ever get to me. A vampire? Well, it was just a theory. Sharp pointy teeth, lots of undead. It's not an illogical conclusion. You are right, but I feel there is something even more sinister about Dran. Dran seeks to become a god. Is that something that's possible, Lilamva? I don't know. Godhood is such an odd thing. Attaining it would be nigh on impossible for a mortal, presuming that Dran Dragor is a mortal being to begin with. That is true. We must be very cautious if his goals are so lofty. Let's step forward and hope there aren't any enemies nearby. There's a rock. Rocks are always useful. It's not a magical rock, so we'll just hold on to it for now. We must have faith in our abilities to combat these evil minions. I will pray for guidance. Thank you, Lilamva. But we may need more than prayer here. Hmm. There's a puzzle here. Oh no, not a puzzle. I don't want a puzzle. Pressure plates, and more pressure plates, and these. I'll try and smash it. I don't think that's going to work this time. I don't know what that did. And teleporters. Let's not jump down the pit, shall we? I agree. Not a smart idea. Somehow we're going to have to open this door. Hmm. I think I know what this puzzle is, and I don't like what this puzzle is. This puzzle is likely a, hey, drop things on the pressure plates puzzle. We see a bunch of pressure plates here. We probably have to weigh all of them down. And I imagine the only way that we can do that is using these pressure plates and these teleporters. But how are we going to do this with any sense of, uh... Certainty is another question. I'm going to save, and be glad that I'm holding on to things that I don't really want to hold on to. Let's, uh, see what happens if we throw this rock into he Ooh, that teleporter is actually gone. Is it here now? Okay, it's here now, and I imagine it's not over there now. So what happens if we throw this into here? Not there. Or there, or there, or here, or there. Okay, the rock has appeared there, so that clearly didn't do anything. What if we throw the rock over, say... Okay, where are the teleporters? Good question. They appear to have vanished. So if we throw this over here... Okay, the rock is over there now. Okay, so we need to throw things into these so that we can push those pressure plates in. And there are six of them. I hope we have things that we can just throw away. I do hope so, too. Let's save, and we do have one item that we could throw away. That bauble that Dran gave us. It's a handy thing to throw away. It is technically magical, but we're not going to be using it. What if we just, uh, press this one here? That's still there, and if we throw this, 
It goes... not here. It goes there. Okay, so we now have two of them way down. And I'm going to save after each and every one, so that we are not uh, wasting lots of items. So we have two of them way down. Let's see if we can figure out the uh, third one. This one? If we do this and we throw something else that we don't need, we probably want them, and we really want to keep the shields. We're actually running out of things that we can throw. We could throw this skull key. It's not likely we need the skull key by now. Let's try the spider key, actually. Did that do what I actually... that key just landed right there. We're going to be doing a lot of loading, I imagine, to slowly figure out where all of these need to go. Because I don't want a key to land there as well. What if I were to press this one down? Will that make a difference? Okay, that will make that completely disappear. So actually I want uh, that to reappear. Still not reappeared. Reappeared now. And if I do that, it's still here. Let's try and throw that key again. It's not there. It's there now. Right, so we have done half of the puzzle. This is uh, going to be a little bit tricky, though, dealing with the other half of the puzzle. Because we're starting to run out of items that we can throw into there. Hopefully we don't need things like the bone key and the... Uh, that uh, other key that we have here, the skull key, because we're going to be putting them in there as well. Where is that bone key? There is the bone key. Now let us uh, get the teleporter over here. There we go. We'll throw this and see where it goes. The answer is over there. So we have one item there. Let's save, because we don't have that much we want to get rid of. Do we have any more keys that we can get rid of? I may have one key that we can get rid of. This skull key. That'll probably have to do. I really don't want to keep throwing away all of our keys, but chances are the chance to use them was a long time ago. Hopefully. Let's press this here and throw this key into there. Being sure not to throw that key, because we need that key. So it has now gone there, which is good. Now we need to find the combination for the final one, and throw something else. This is when the final one turns out to be nigh on impossible. Also, we need to rest to uh, gain those spells. That we do. So is the teleporter still there? It is still there. Let's find one more item to throw. One item that we do not want. The bow is technically something that we don't want, but it may be useful. A normal rock. We can get rid of one rock. That did it. Marvellous. We are through, and I'm quickly going to save, because there might be a monster that emerges. Finally, that puzzle is over with. Have I told you how much that you hate teleporters? We know, Sandstar. We know. Let's move forward and see if there is a way out this way. I hope so. Stairs down. Hmm. I was expecting stairs up. But we'll go down there. We'll go down there. After, of course, saving. Because we made quite a lot of headway getting through that puzzle. Not a very difficult puzzle compared to some of the other ones that we've encountered. So, down we go. Now, finding that final polished shield, that would have been a puzzle all of its own if we hadn't had that notification. Anything over here? Just double-checking. No. Nothing. Hmm. I see it. That's going to be tricky to bypass. Very tricky. Hopefully, it's not as difficult as it looks. It looks exceptionally complicated. We're going to have to have very precise timing. And hopefully monsters won't appear if we fail. Monsters won't appear, I don't think. This area seems remarkably safe. Stairs up. Up to where those pits are. Yes, up to where those pits are indeed. So, we need to be very careful. Very careful.
Is that area ahead of us? No, nowhere at all appears to be safe. Then we're going to have to trust our timing and our instincts. You can trust my instincts, but I'm not very good at solving timed pit puzzles. Not much experience in it. Let's give this a go, shall we? We step forward here and over to... Nope, that did not work. Right, we definitely need to step forward a few paces, though. Definitely need to step forward. And there's nowhere over there that we can... Ah, okay. So there's... That then goes that way. Okay, so if we step forward twice and then right, that might help. One, two, over here. And then we get a little bit trapped. This might take quite a while. Also, is this the... Uh, let's actually see if we go over here and have a look, because we can see up here where all of the holes appear. I think going uh, going the way I was planning is a bit silly, because it's not really going to help. Also, if we're going to rest, let's see what uh, having um, this holy symbol um, available does for our resting time, because Valendra can cast healing. It'll probably make it that much quicker. We'll have to make sure to... Uh, have the weapon re-equipped, of course. Last thing we want to do is to get into combat and Valendra starts punching people. This is going to be one of those puzzles that I am indeed going to get stuck on for quite a while if I don't quickly figure it out. But we have an unlimited number of tries because we have Create Food and we have uh, the ability to heal very quickly. It did take nearly two days to rest, which isn't that terrible, really. Let's just equip this again... And I'm going to... should I really say? There's no real point, because uh, it's not like I've made any headway, is it? Because that moves over there, then the pit appears there... Hmm... Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. We can see uh, pits in the uh, ceiling. Oh, they alternate between the ceiling and the... oh! They alternate between the ceiling and the floor, because I bet if we... Uh, if we fail on the next floor up, we'll fall back down to here. It's gonna be one of those puzzles, isn't it? Oh joy! There was no joy about this. I'm gonna give it one more go here. Let's see, we can go that way, but that way is literally just a trap. Going that way isn't going to help me at all. This way, that way, nope, I tried that before, and we got nowhere. Nowhere at all. So, give me a moment, and I'll figure this out. I think I may have finally figured out the solution, and it is a deceptively easy one. How deceptively easy? We were trying to take lots of pathways to the left and right, but in truth, we can just move straight forward for the most part. How confident are you about this, Rune? About as confident as anyone can be. Knowing that there are pits in the ceiling that move as well, meaning that we're going to have to deal with another one of these puzzles, even if we get past this one. So what does that mean? It means that we're going to have to pay attention to what's happening on the ceiling as well as what's happening here. Lilamva, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We may be falling quite away if I get it wrong in the upstairs area. But what about this floor? Can we get past this floor? As I said, we mostly just have to move forward. On my mark. Let's go. Forward we go, and eventually this pit will disappear. How did you know that? Careful observation, Sansa. Briefly seeing it as we were moving forward and falling before. But there is going to be another part to this. Yes, you said. We'll be able to get through that part just as easily, right, Rune? In theory, but falling has an extra consequence, as we'll fall an extra long way. I need to very carefully consider what we're dealing with here. And it looks like the right way is pretty clear for the most part. It does, doesn't it? We're not going to step forward until you're absolutely sure of most of the way. Most of the way is all I can be sure about, Valendra. If anybody else has anything that they can mention, do so now. All I can see, Rune, is that the left-hand side is entirely pointless to try and go down. There are too many pits. Well spotted, Amber. So, we're going to have to figure this out and get it right first time, ideally. I don't like our chances. 
Me neither, but I'll try my best. And when we come back, folks, we're going to do this one as well. And hopefully not fall to our doom. We are going to fall to our doom, aren't we? Let's hope that doesn't happen. I do think we mostly have to go this way. It does seem like the most likely route. Hopefully. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.